question. Talk to me. Uh, when you get into those moments in those scenes when you're actually like too close to something, does that happen? <laughs> Is that your question or no? No, that's actually legitimately my question. <laughs> when you get too close to something? Uh, in a scene, in an acting a moment, this is for you, TD, too. Like, when you get too close to something personal or, or something like that, what do you... Oh, an emotion, not like something... <laughs> Teats? I mean, I'm just having... Oh, see what has happened there. Oh, perfect. When you get too close to something. When, when you get too close to something, did you... Such as a feeling, or, you know, yeah, something in your own life, I imagine. <laughs> so I'm gonna right, right, uh, find his way up first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You okay, Ricky? Do you need help? I got this. You're good? You're good? Okay. Um, no, yeah, emotionally, that, uh, that happens a lot uh, as an actor. That's a great question. Um, and so, thankfully, as you can see, we have incredible people around us that can... What? I'm saying good things about you! <laughs> Stop! Anyway, that. That helps pull you out of a moment. <laughs> that puppy dog face. <laughs> I, but I, yeah, you, you do find the things that, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even right now. <laughs> find that thing that pulls you out of it. Um, I think that's you saying you want to answer this question as well, right Ricky? Was that your answer? <laughs> no, but my answer is yes. You find those uh, things that I call anchors that pull you back to yourself, uh, that pull you back out of that moment because things can get, um, they can get really close, they can get really personal and you can kind of sink into that space if you don't have I'm with you on this. That was a really good answer. I literally, you know, because you, we, we, I think we're different. I like to go balls out and just like, I don't want to limit myself. I like to give, um, give you a scale, you know, because you can always rein it back. You can, you can always rein it back in. So I like to go too far where it does get too real and do you get to get too so close to something because then it's raw then it's real and it's you can't stop it like i remember way back when my very first tv show I, someone came here today a couple of, um dream team was a show i did back in the uk and it was kind of like friday night lights but with soccer um and the guy played my dad long story short my dad's played my dad's going into witness protection and so it was the last time i was ever going to see my dad um, ever in my lifetime and we've been through so much like I'd kill people and he got made me get away with it and everything It was crazy big story. It's amazing. You should watch it. No, don't but It was my first job. I was terrible. I should have been fired um, But we, we did a couple and then the emotion of the fact that I literally Wasn't going to see the actor Terence Maynard again made it actually real because I wasn't gonna see him and then in the, in the scene, it's like, I'm not going to see my dad again. And he was almost like a father figure. So it became very real. And we finished one take where we literally were bawling. Both of us. <laughs> there was snot. There was like tears. And the director came in. He was just like, that was really beautiful. So beautiful. Um, could we do less? <laughs> but, but, but we could. So he, he had a 10, and then we were able to rein it in. So sometimes I like to go past those limits and go out there and, and do some of this. Un go into the unknown, because you don't know what you're gonna pull out, you know? So I think every actor is really, really different, and you gotta just go with what works for you, because some people can't rein it in. And at the end of the day, if you've been crying or something all day, and then you gotta go home to your wife, husband, partner, mom, dad, friends, whatever, and you're sat there miserable because you've been crying all day, you know, you've got to know how to get out of it. Because if you're playing a sad role, your life is going to be hell for however, however long you're playing that role. You need to find, like Natile said, an anchor, something that brings you out. So, you know, you can, music, you can find a, a, a memory or a TV show, watch American Gods or something. I don't know. Just turn that on. Sorry? Just turn on American just, Gods. Just turn on American yeah. Gods, you know. 
Just watch Bill Chris scene. <laughs> That was um, a great question, and I hope you had a great question. little moment there. <laughs> Thank Easter. you so much. Thank you. Hi.